should probably record this. Um, hang on, I'm pulling up the market prices spreadsheet. So one second. <laughs> I've been trying to get slime blocks recently. Okay, Percy, you can record too, that's fine. Alright, I just linked the uh, document with the very limited data that I collected this time around in the TeamSpeak chat. Yeah, I've got it. Um, is this public, uh, mm -hmm. Edwin? Okay. I believe so. Just want All right. to make sure. Oh, I th think I've just shared an edit one. That's why I asked if that was public. Yeah, the one Ed said is it's a little different, like there at the very end. Well, nobody changed this then. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is the new basket item that you'll be able to craft and sell to the server. Um, the way baskets work is we're going to have maybe three or four items, like uh, say two carrots, a potato, and uh, a cake. I don't know, it can be whatever we want. Um, I'll set up a custom crafting recipe. So you put them all on a crafting table, and then you can get a basket out of it. It's just a an item that's renamed basket of goodies or something. Uh, so then you have your baskets of stuff, and you can sell them for more in slash shop than the individual items. So it encourages a little more crafting instead of just raw materials being sold. Would it be like um, you would sell the ingredients to make something? Like you'd get a basket to make a cake and it would have all the ingredients to make a cake? No, you. so you would craft the basket from ingredients and then sell the basket, not the other way around. Oh, okay. So what, uh, instead of just making a bunch of baskets this last week, I figured I'd wait for the meeting and we could together come up with some nifty combos of stuff. One that I was thinking of that would be nice is crafting a full set of diamond armor. And so then it's you know a basket of diamond armor and it sells for a nice little amount. Um, if we were going to do a basket of, like, fruits and vegetables, which ones would you guys want to do? Um, well, carrots uh, and potatoes would go together nicely. Yeah. So, raw potatoes, not baked potatoes? I think I'd bring a, a baked potato on a picnic, I think. For example, okay. you know. It's like a picnic basket. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, um, you know, some melon slices wrapped in cling film or something, I would probably bring an apple, uh, maybe some sliced up carrot, uh, baked potato. It uh, maybe wouldn't hurt to add a few potions into them. Maybe some bread. Yeah, some bread. What about a bottle of water? Ooh, like a bottle of wine? <laughs> you wish. Well, if we I still had the brewery plug in, we could do that. Drink whatever. <laughs> Either way is nice. All right, so we've got a picnic basket. We've got an armor basket. You can do a fishing basket. Fish, I like that. It's good. Like a, maybe an enchanted fishing rod. I'm trying to think what else could go in there though. A boat. Okay, yeah, so we could do fishing rod, a boat, a Some couple food of... food would come in handy. Yeah, a little bit of food. Maybe some cooked fish. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it would be good. Maybe um, some like potion to emulate like some makes of scuba deer almost, the scuba gear. Yeah. Just in case your boat goes down or something. Yeah, okay. Maybe we could do one with like battle potions. For like okay. arena stuff. Well, so remember, you're going to. You would then brew the potions, make them into a basket, and then sell it. So you're not gonna. It doesn't work like you buy the basket from the server and then you get the potions. They, they disappear, they go away. And you get money. Oh, okay. But we could uh, encourage some people to brew stuff. That's a good idea. So we'll do a potions basket as well. So that's that's four baskets. That's pretty good. Do you want to do a couple more? Uh, sure. Percy says PvP basket. I think that's what I said. Basically battle, yeah. Like yeah. Whatever. Maybe a really good, a good sword. Channel is recording. Good sword, maybe a healing potion or strength. How about a um, florist's basket? So you have to like have loads of different flowers in. Oh yeah. Basket of flowers, okay. Okay. One thing we gotta watch with the flowers is that all of them are sold in a shop Harry, somewhere. Oh. That's true. Um, then how about a basket of dye? You just buy the dye straight. Right? Princess Dan has arrived! Okay. Um, how about a redstone basket? Hmm. So I could have a comparator, repeater, block, like some form of piston, a lamp, torch. I was thinking maybe you could do slime blocks too. Well, if we do a sticky piston, then I mean that covers at least slime-ish kind of stuff. Oh. Uh, like a tinkerer's kit? Yeah, that sounds like like a, a good one. Okay, tinkerer's basket. Um, we could incorporate the nether into something. So maybe like you have to have um, like a nether brick, like the item, not like the block. So like some nether bricks some blaze rods, some glowstone dust, or like actual glowstone or something, you know. Percy is asking us to say his idea, which is an impossible basket, only with things obtained in server events. That could be interesting. I'm not against that idea, to be honest. That is interesting. Yeah, dragon egg's good, so that would get people out there for the dragon fight. He said there's also an item royal pain. I don't really know what that means. Um, Royal Pain is the axe that's given away at the Euro fight that suddenly oh. happened. Yeah. I don't know if I should mix up with uh, Dragon's Bane and Royal Pain, like, between the weeks. And then give a Sigil Stone out on the star fights. Um, maybe you can change weekly. Yeah, so there's going to be a, a basket weaver, and that person will just switch through which baskets are are sold each week. So I don't I don't think we'll have all these baskets available all the time. 
So it encourages people to like just go out and do redstone one week and then flowers another week. And yeah. Then fishing. I yeah. Like Get people to break it up so they don't do the same thing over and over. So the uh, nether basket, you should definitely add in a ghast tier. Ooh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Magma cream. Wither skeleton skull. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, do it. That one will be worth a lot. I mean, that's worth... A, a beacon goes for about 100k, I think. Depending on the seller. It might go for more or less. So that makes with a skull about 33 on average. 33k on average. Mm -hmm. uh, Percy mentioned ores. I don't know if we need to do a basket for ores, because you can already just sell it on the shop. Um, We could do one for chain armor. But it's a mob drop, so I don't know how the damage value incorporates into it. Um, I do believe the custom crafting recipe does account for damage value, so it'd have to be like not damaged. Yeah. Well, what about that, a, um, what about like rails or minecart uh, kind of thing? Well, we. We did say the Tinkerer's basket with redstone. I guess I guess that's a little different. That's more for mining. Yeah, what Witch said. Yeah, get like a, a pickaxe and a shovel and like he was saying, um, maybe a mine cart, some rails. A golden helmet. <laughs> maybe a, a mine cart with a chest in it. Stack of torches. Yeah. With the um, impossible basket, we could push the boundaries a little less and just say, instead of server event items, uh, like maybe really hard to obtain items like a beacon and some other really hard stuff. Like diamond horse armor, I don't know how easy that is to get hold of. <laughs> well, impossible basket, yeah, that sounds like it would be like really hard to get stuff. User left your channel. I thought horse armor. Yeah, you can buy horse armor. But not diamond horse armor, it looks like. Okay. Oh no, someone's just selling those. That's a player thing. Okay, that's fine. Plus, with the monthly nether resets, you'll be able to find the diamond horse armor in the uh, nether fortresses. Yep, that's true. Oh, monthly resets. Reset. Yeah, I gotta do that tonight. Oh, sweet. Monthly is gonna suck, because we're gonna have to like tell people not to get attached to their things in the nether. We'll just do a region flag. So every time they go in there, it says your stuff's going to go away that on the first Saturday of the month. I mean, if you tell them every time they go in, they can't complain about it. Yeah, it's true. All right, I think that's pretty good for baskets. I mean, if we did one a week, then, you know, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's two months before you'd see the same basket. That's not bad at all. Mm-mm. Well, thanks, guys. I would not have come up with with some of those, so I'm glad I asked y'all. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, so last month, I said that I would monitor the price of crops. I didn't do any data collecting on it, but um, from what I was able to see, nobody made really that much money from farming anything. Okay, so it looks like pumpkin sell prices or oh, pumpkin sales have gone down and stuff. Well, yeah, so they still have to use the sign for pumpkins. Um, I was just watching in slash shop. So I mean, I think it's pretty well balanced right now. If anything, we might think about raising the prices of everything but pumpkins just a little bit. Okay, I'd be alright with that. 
So maybe 10% across the board for everything but pumpkins. Sounds like foe. I would include melons in with the pumpkins. Okay, so not melons or pumpkins. Because the farms are easily converted to from one to the other. That's true. Yeah, it's a little harder when you've actually got to wait for all the, the crops to go through their stages and replant them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay, so every everything that you have to manually replant, let's take up by like 10, 10 or 15%. Okay. Um, so do we want to go through Edwin's economy data from the last month? Sure. Right. Does everybody have it pulled up or any mm -hmm. issues? There? Awesome. Yeah, there's, there's not a whole lot here because I had a few setbacks, but... Um, some things to note, Obsidian didn't really change at all, it stayed pretty steady, and I don't think we changed the price of it, so that makes sense. Uh, soul Sand plummeted, but that's because nobody could find any. Uh, once the nether resets, I expect that number will shoot up again. And mining went up, which is good, we raised ores like 20%, I think it was. Mm -hmm. So mining went up, it roughly looks like they made about 30% more, I'm not going to do the math. But... Yeah, um, we're right at that 60,000 an hour range that we were looking for, so that's perfect. Yep, we, we hit our target zone on that. Um, cash cube kept breaking down, so we couldn't get anyone in there to really mine it. Man, I don't even think the clay one's open yet, is it? No, because there's a huge mesa biome that uh, showed up once I expanded the world border. <laughs> yeah, I set a home there. Yeah, let's wait until that gets hollowed out again, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Still no um, jungle biome, though. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Thirty thousand by thirty thousand, and not a single natural jungle biome. Um, so I'll get the cash cube hooked up again. We'll try to do some more tests this month. Yeah, Preston, maybe you should, um, oh, sorry. I was going to say I'll have a lot more free time these next couple weeks. <laughs> nice. I was going to say, Preston, maybe you should go for broke and, uh, just expand it as much as, like, or just keep expanding it until you find a jungle biome on, like, another <laughs> server or something. And then you'll know. Just see how much it'll actually take. Yeah. Just like, just say, fuck it, let's do it. If you'd have told me that 30,000 wouldn't have done it, I'd have called you an idiot. I mean, there's no way. But it happened, sure enough. <laughs> I think we just got that magical seed that refuses to have a jungle biome anywhere. You'd have put amplified biomes on there, didn't you? <laughs> I did large biomes, yeah. So it takes That's forever the one. to get anywhere. At least we got a mesa out of it. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Made me very happy. It's a shame we can't just like um extend it like one way and then just push the other sides back that aren't like as explored or like we have duplicate things off. I mean I I could, but people have gone out and built in the new areas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I could always move the borders and then cut off the excess. Yeah, like, um, down the bottom right, there's a really snowy area, and I don't know if... I'll have to double-check, but I don't think anyone's really built anything there, apart from maybe Matt. But I don't think he's using the area anymore, so we could just, like, copy and paste that somewhere else and just cut it off, and then just... It gives us room to expand further up the top to try and find that fucking jungle biome. Yeah, I don't know where the Christmas town's set up. Sorry, are these PG? I mean, they're going to be posted to the front page of the website. <laughs> I'll add bleeps in. Oh, thank you. Um. So yeah, we just got through soul sand. Wood is a little low. 
Yeah, I, I tried to think of a few more things that people could do. So I added in like wood and quartz. And I added in fishing, but I didn't get anyone to actually fish. So. I, could, I, would, um, no. I would really like to check on fishing this month and see how lucrative that is. Because I love fishing and I want people to be able to do it more. Um, for this specific reason, I have an auto fisher mod on, just so I can go AFK and I'll fish for an hour or so. So I'd be more than willing to just be AFK for an hour. Awesome. I yeah, let's... don't advise anyone else get it. Um, just because we'll me. have to ban you. Because <laughs> we will have to ban you. Um, but mine is for testing purposes only. So. Well, let's have you running the mod. So that's the most possible money you can get from fishing. It basically fishes as soon as you get anything, and it will also cast the rod back, so... Right, and then we'll have other people test fishing properly. And then if they're close enough, uh, I have an anti-auto fishing mod plugin I can install, but if they're close enough, then I'm not going to bother. Okay. Uh, but if you're making, you know, double or triple what everyone else is making, then I'll bring that in before we actually change the prices. That sounds good. Um, if you want, Edwin, I can fish for 20 minutes in periods, so you can get an average of that, or I can just fish for an hour. I don't think your subjects are going to want to fish for an hour, that's why. No, I, I, that's why I cut everything down to 20 minutes this time, is because even with mining, a lot of people just went in and did like 5 minutes here, 10 minutes there, so I wanted something that was not too long, but even that I could add quickly. Yeah. So I don't mind doing like, I don't know, three runs of 20 minutes if you want, just to get, you know, a nice kind of sample range. Yeah, that sounds good. I can give you the potions that I have. I, I have the potions set up. I added a bunch of stuff to them so that people won't die while they're testing. Oh, nifty. It gives them death resistance. That's a concoction of my own making. Basically, it's lots and <laughs> lots of resistance, regeneration, and boosted health. Wow. like it. You can die if you fall into the void, but that's what it took to die. <laughs> uh, just so you know, resistance, I think it's resistance 5 basically makes you invulnerable. So. Yeah, the, the potion has like resistance 100. Oh my god, <laughs> overkill. <laughs> wow, that's so awesome. Yeah, but they're, they're handed out specifically by me and so I can monitor and they run out within the 20 minutes, so it's only only given to players for gathering purposes. It's not bad. That's a bit of fun for them. <laughs> Percy said, what if we make more than me? And you're beating the computer, basically. <laughs> yeah, That'd be pretty well, cool. Then... Something wrong with my mod. You can complain to the creator. Yep. I can all light load up people. Uh, so the last thing on your list is obsidian. I'm guessing that's from going into the end, mining out the thing that is generated, and then going back. Um, nope, not this time. Um, Aqua, I believe, did that on the last one. Uh, this time, a couple people were actually... Actually, I think it was one person was mining out a lava vein. So I just gave them some stuff, and so that data came from just one guy and one vein of lava. Okay. I don't remember who was mining the obsidian, though. I could check in my box. We can set up a region around the slab that you teleport to in the end, so no one can mine that out. Oh, it was, it was also aqua mining the lava, so... Okay. He's about the only one that actually gathers obsidian other than me. Hmm. But yeah, it stayed the same. Last time he mined out the uh, end slab with an alt throwing a fishing line into a portal to keep regenerating it. And this time he got almost the same just from mining lava. Um... We have a player suggestion saying that, can we bring up that wood costs too high? So maybe we could look into that. I think Twister's saying it costs too much to buy it. Yeah. Okay, and then 
on Edwin's data sheet here, it's too little to sell it. You can get a little bit more if you cook it into charcoal, but I don't think it's that much more. Well, so we can't do both. We can't both raise the sell price and lower the buy price because I don't think they're that far apart right now. Could we not lower the the buy price? Oh, it's uh, it's actually a lot more to sell it as charcoal. It's like eight eighty per log, and it's thirteen thirty six if you smelt it into charcoal. Wow. Then again, you are using coal, so you have to take that into account, I guess. Not if you're smart. Oh, well, you're not having to use coal, but you're using some kind of... But yeah, it takes time and a furnace and... Yeah. What I'm concerned about, though, is if we lower the price of wood too much, then people can buy it, smelt it to charcoal, and sell it back. What are the prices? I haven't got the sit-down we... expert I've only got Edwin's. We could sell planks and buy logs. That way, what they buy from us, they can't, because you can't smelt the planks into charcoal, only the logs. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And you can't reverse craft it either. Okay, so buy, the server buys logs. Server sells planks, okay. We should build a lumber yard somewhere. <laughs> Wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. It looks like the server doesn't have any server shops for wood right now. Is that right? They're probably buying it from Eureka. Yeah, Eureka. User in your channel is recording. Okay, so we'll take down the Eureka log shop, so we'll put that in slash shop. And they can be admin shops. Yeah, it's about 132 for 10 logs. So it's 13.20 per log then. Okay, and... Um, so you're making 28,000 on it right now. Per hour, we want to bump that up to closer to sixty thousand an hour, so that would be doubling the price that you can sell logs to the server to get it around sixty thousand. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. That sounds so. good. And then um, planks were too expensive, is what Twister Blue was saying. So why don't we lower the prices of those, maybe twenty percent? Sorry, okay. I'm putting on my shoes. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Um, I think those are all the things that staff wanted to make sure we talked about. Do you guys here have any blocks that you'd like us to talk about? Mushroom. Mushrooms, okay. Percy, we're not selling command blocks. So you want to be able to buy mushroom blocks from the server or sell it to the server or both no Preston can you hear me now mm-hmm okay, that was weird my internet just had a lag spike um, so do you want to buy and sell mushroom blocks to the server? That's I think not selling a bad idea. Yes, I mean mushroom blocks are kind of tricky to get unless you, you know, know what you're doing. So yeah, I mean, well, you all that can, stuff. You can bone meal a regular mushroom and make it grow into a giant one. Yeah, but I mean the mushroom blocks as in the blocks that's growing yeah. the yeah. giant mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, that's what we mean. So you can, what we're saying is you can put a normal mushroom down on the floor, bone meal it, and silk touch the mushroom blocks. 
So we're thinking of letting you guys buy and sell those. You know, the the actual mushroom blocks. That'd be cool. Uh, don't forget, use this bone meal and it's kind of random depending on when it wants to grow. So, you know, although it's kind of like mushrooms are pretty much Not everywhere. Sure. The uh, the amount of bone meal could vary and change the price, you know, accordingly. All right, so we'll start at like twenty bucks a block to sell it or not to buy it from the server, and then um, two thirds that to sell it back. Are you able to buy uh, like regular mushrooms from shop? Let's see. Uh, brown no. mushroom. No. Just mushroom stew. Oh wait, uh, brown um, mushroom 3.96. Although I'm sure that's not what people want. Uh, I've got to get going. I'll catch you okay. after this on the video. Okay. okay. Um, so, just because it's got a price on the spreadsheet doesn't mean it's in slash shop. Alright, okay. Yeah, so that's if we did have it in slash shop, that's our suggested price. All oh, right, I see. Okay, well, how about we don't sell it in the slash shop and just sell the blocks? So obviously they can't just buy plant, buy plant, you know, sell. Right. So yeah, twenty twenty dollars per block sounds good, and then a third of that to sell. Okay. Uh, Percy, we will not sell command blocks to you. Not that you could do anything with them anyway. Yeah, you can't place them or anything. How would you sell us command blocks? Well, if you have one, it wasn't given to you so you could sell it. Nice try. <laughs> you could always sell it on Slash Shop as a player listing. Mm hmm. Yeah. You can sell anything on it. Probably good for a bit of money. I thought we can't have command blocks. Uh. I mean, we don't give them out. If you have one, it's probably a special reason. Or we just felt like giving you one. User left your channel. Yeah, I've been nice before and given them out to people. Yeah. Wow. I've given it to a couple of people so they can have it as a, a hat. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Any other items that we'd like to talk about? What about Prismarine? Where do you buy Prismarine now? Um, I think that is just in Slash Shop. Yep. Yeah. Uh, how about Quartz? We discussed Quartz last month, I believe, uh, and Edwin did test out mining Quartz. Yeah, he got $30,000 an hour on average, which is a little low, but um, we're going to reset the nether so there will be a lot more of it. Woohoo! Yeah. I'm a Quartz freak. Everyone knows it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll see if that changes a lot this month, or if it's if that's just low because of how scarce it is right now. Indeed. Uh, how are you guys liking the turnip? Turnip thing? for what? <laughs> yeah, I haven't either. All right. Well, so tomorrow it'll go on sa on sale again. So stock up tomorrow. And then you've got next week. I believe the prices this week were higher than the hundred dollars that it cost to buy them all but twice. Yeah, Not bad. I think one day they were like hundred and twenty five. So you made a twenty five dollar profit for turnip. Um, Percy, the system is that you buy 
as many turnips as you think you'll need on Sunday and then throughout the rest of the week you can't buy them but you can sell them now it's up to you to decide when to sell them because the prices change every day Here, so yeah. I put a nice explanation post on the forums. I'll send a link to you here. It is a gamble, yes. So you buy it. Uh, it'll be between ninety dollars and one hundred and ten per turnip to buy it on Sunday, and then the prices to sell it back to the server throughout the week could be as high as three hundred. So you could triple your money, or as low as zero, and you could lose everything you invest. <laughs> yeah, so we're just getting kicked off this week. Let's let's wait for another month to see how effective that is because if someone makes, you know, millions this month doing it, then we'll have to change the way it works. All right, anything else? Um, Princess Dan seems to want to discuss the town charter. I guess they think 50k is too low, so they they want the price up. They haven't told me yet. Oh my but... god! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they just said discuss the town certificate. So I'm just assuming that they think they want the price raised. Because they haven't told me if they want it lowered yet. Um, I don't think we'll be changing the town certificate because it's one of those special items. It's not like a a block. Did you see chat? Um, he said, I'm if you a I ain't got no 500k. Well, if you don't have 500k, then um, uh, make it. I mean, that's what we're discussing in the economy meeting: how to make money and how to change the way people make money. So, being in here, you're finding out that. Now farming may become more lucrative than mining, for example. You know, but stuff like that. So, yeah, it's going to be staying uh, 500k. That's not going to change. And so that would be, since all the ways to earn money, ideally earn you 60,000 an hour, that's a little under nine hours of work. Which so sounds bad. like a lot, but over a few... A few days or a few weeks. It's not that bad. I'm on Minecraft for about 10 hours every day. All right, well, I think we can wrap the meeting up then. I think we got a lot discussed. Indeed. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming out, guys. We will do this uh, same time on, oh, what will it be? November 4th, maybe? I don't know what day of the week it is. That first Saturday. Let's have a User in cool. your channel stopped recording. Uh, November 7th. Oh. 31st Alrighty. is the end of this this week. This I month. see. 7th it is? Yep.